Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can buy, sell, and mint your own NFTs on the Algorand blockchain. Now, the name of this website is called ab2.gallery. And given that they're using the Algorand blockchain, you would expect that all transactions on this platform will be relatively fast and inexpensive. Now, given that I would have reviewed many other NFT platforms on my YouTube channel, it is fair for me to compare this platform to some of the other ones that I would have tested. I would say at this point that this platform reminds me of a slightly more advanced version of nftmaker.io which ran on the Cardano blockchain. Or you can think of it as a watered down version of Rarible which lives on the Ethereum blockchain. But in any case, the quality of the art on this platform varies. Majority of it seems to be pixel art which sells between 1 and 50 algo and then you have some nice looking 3D art which can sell from between 50 to 150 algo. You get a wide variety on this platform. On the main page, the first thing you see would be the recent purchases. If you scroll down, you can see the recent listings. Let's go and have a look at some of the recent purchases. Now navigation is pretty basic, you just have a simple page, you can scroll down and when you get to the bottom you can check the different pages to see what has been sold in the recent few hours. Now guys, one thing I must tell you is that the platform is very new and as such there are some features that I would like to see implemented in the future such as a simple category section which could ease in navigation. But for right now, what you see is what you get and they give you a simple search bar at the top where you can search by creator, by seller or by the name of the asset. So if we head back now to the main page and we scroll down to the new listing section, you get a pretty similar experience where you can view all of the newest NFTs that have been put up for sale. If you scroll down however and you see one that says sensitive content, chances are you have to click on it to actually view the NFT. Now the new listing page seems to be a lot larger than the recently sold page in that you can scroll down a lot further you can see a lot of the art that is up for sale. If any catches your eye you just have to click on it and it will expand in a larger view. Now there don't seem to be anything that catches my eye at the moment so I'm going to head back up and I'm going to show you guys my actual profile itself. Once I click on manage, I have to connect my Algorand wallet. Now for this platform, it uses the My Algo wallet. This would be the wallet that you would have seen me use in my Yuli video. Now the first thing you want to do of course is unlock your Algorand wallet by entering your password and click unlock. And now you must select your account to connect to the platform. Once that is done, you should see your wallet appear along with any NFTs you have in your wallet already. Now these that you see here are just a couple that I would have bought a few days ago and I would have relisted them for a slightly higher price. Now one of the things I don't like about the platform is the fact that it appears you can only view your NFTs once you have listed them for sale. Now if I go here to the available tab you'll see that I have two more NFTs that have not been listed. These would be these ones here. Now these are ones that are grayed out are not NFTs but these are fungible tokens that I would have created. If you watched my previous video on how to create assets on Algorand, you will learn how to make your own tokens. But for right now I'm just going to show you guys how to list an asset for sale on this platform. I'm going to choose avatar number 10, I'm going to choose automatic listing, I'm going to specify the quantity, in this case I only have one of them the limit per order since I only have one I can only sell one and the unit price I'm going to sell this for about 15 algo and once you agree to the terms and condition you click continue you just have to wait a few seconds for it to process the preview of your NFT and once that is done you can inspect your preview image or you can upload a custom one once you scroll down you click continue and now you have to confirm two transactions. Please make a note here of the estimated proceeds for the sale and the estimated listing costs. But in any case, let's click confirm. I'm gonna open up my Algo wallet. I click continue, enter my password, sign the transaction, 
and the smart contract is now initiating. I have to click confirm once again. My Algo wallet should open for a second time. And this is now the case where I am transferring my asset to an escrow account where any buyer that comes to buy my asset has to go through the platform first and then the platform will give them the asset as well as give me my funds minus any platform cost. So once I click on continue, I now have to enter my password for a second time. Sign the last transaction and now it's sending my asset to the escrow account. So if I scroll down now, you can see that my other asset now has been listed for sale for 15 algo. I can always view the escrow account on the blockchain or I can simply end the listing. Now buying an NFT in the platform is just as straightforward. I like this particular project called Algo Beast. So if I click on the NFT that I already own, it's going to open up in a new window, show me some more details about this NFT. If I scroll down, you can see the creator of the NFT along with his Algorand address. But more importantly, you can see the supply of this NFT he would have minted. I'm going to click on his profile to see what other NFTs he has for sale. So since I want to go ahead and complete my collection, I'm going to buy Sparky number two. Once this page fully loads, if you scroll to the very bottom of the page, you can see how many people have listed this NFT for sale along with their prices. Here you can see the creator of the NFT has 66 available for the price of one algo, whereas this person has one available for the price of 1500 algo. Of course, I'm going to buy from the creator. But before I do that, I'm going to go through the different tabs that you see up here, collectors. These would be all the persons that would have bought this NFT before and how many they would have bought. If you go here to history, you will see all of the transactions that he would have done on his profile. Let's go back and buy the NFT. So once I go and click on here, my Algo wallet should open up and now I enter my password. Once I hit unlock, I get a slight warning that says be sure to verify the authenticity and legality of each asset before authorizing the transaction. I'm going to select the address I want to pay with which should be my main wallet and I'm going to say use this account. I have agreed to the terms and conditions and confirm. Sign the transaction. And now the payment is being sent. Once that is done, I will get the NFT in my wallet. As you can see here, the number has gone down from 66 to 65. So if I head back over to my wallet now, you can see that the NFT has been transferred to me. Now what I want to show you guys is how you can create your own NFT on this platform from scratch. Now for this, I'm going to select automatic again and I'm going to name my asset. In this case, it's going to be called algo daily dose and this is what it looks like and if you guys like it you can always leave a comment below or better yet you can go and purchase this nft on the platform now the next thing you want to fill in will be the unit name now bear in mind you have a limited amount of characters only eight so keep it brief in this case i'm going to call my unit algo pill and i'm going to mint about five of them now you can choose to add a description if you want in this case, I'll make a short statement. Take your daily dose of Algorand each day. All right, and now we're gonna select the media file. And this is it, open. And the platform accepts both MP4 as well as JPEG pictures. Now this content does not contain any sensitive materials so all you have to do now is click agree and continue and it's going to upload it to ipfs for me so here is my preview once i click on confirm of course you have to open up your my algo wallet click continue enter your password and send the transaction
Now it does take a little while, you have to confirm twice. But now my asset should be successfully minted as an NFT. And here you can see it. Now I'm gonna list this asset for sale. Once I click on automatic, I'm gonna list how many I want to sell, which is three out of my five, and how many that a person can buy at any given time. I'll limit it to one, and the price for this asset will be 10 algo each. Continue. Continue. Now one thing to make a note of is that with this platform, you only get your funds after all of the NFTs have been sold. In other words, after all three of them that I put up for sale have been sold is when I will get my payment. So that is why most of the NFTs on this platform are set as single NFTs. So if I scroll down now you can see my NFT here on my profile. Talk about profile, you can actually customize your profile when you join the platform for the first time. You'll be marked as anonymous. If you go here to customize, you can change your name and you can also select a file to upload as your display picture. You can add a website as well as a bio about yourself. That's pretty much it. That covers everything about this platform. Now before I go, let me highlight some of the artists that I would enjoy looking at on this platform. First, I have Slip Digby Art. He has a cool art style. Next would be The Devil. Now her account has been fly for whatever reason, but I'm a fan of some of her creations. Maybe it's because of her gothic designs, for whatever reason I worry hope her profile becomes active again. Next we have D4 Labs. This is one of the best pieces I've seen on the actual platform itself. And finally we have Algo Brot Collection. You can see a bunch of fractal art on his profile. Now one thing that you should probably make a note of would be the terms and conditions of the platform as well as the about and frequently asked questions. If you have any questions about the fee structure or how the platform works in general, then I recommend you check it out. Now because this is a free platform and I enjoy the growth of the Algorand ecosystem, I'm going to leave the developers a small donation. Now 5 Algo. And this basically brings me to the end of my video. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys some other Algorand NFT platforms. This particular website is called randgallery.com and this marketplace takes a little more centralized approach as to how you can list, buy and sell your NFTs on this platform but I recommend you still check it out. Next on the list we have a fairly new platform being built out called aartist.art. Now I suspect this platform will be a high-end NFT marketplace and look forward to its launch soon. As you all can see, the Algorand ecosystem is growing and I intend to keep you guys up to date. Now, if you enjoyed today's content, feel free to smash the like button, comment below and share this video with your friends. Now, this channel is not monetized, so if you care to give me a small donation, you can do so at the following Algorand address. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. I thank you guys for watching.